In this video today, I'm going to help you how to generate an IOTA C offline in a bit like me or many other ones we generated the IOTA online and today instead to go to the moon, my IOTAs went to hell. And with Frankie today, the pirate cat, it's going to help me to create this video for you guys. Hey, how you doing everyone? Once again, this is Dario from Media Box ENT and Frankie, the pirate cat, because he has only one eye. That's why it's so good to help me. Uh, and if this is the first time on the channel, you see that it am right there, you're gonna press it and then you become part of Media Box ENT. So guys, the question is, you guys already know, a bunch of people lost the IOTAs, one of those is me, and you're going to say, Dario, how can be that you create videos and you teach crypto? Well, before that, let me give you one second, the story real fast. Many months ago, uh, I had my IOTAs on um, Bphoenix, and Bphoenix says, no more Americans. We don't want Americans here. Out. We don't want any uh, VPN. you out. You better take your IOTAs out. We're going to close the account. You can no longer trade. Take everything out. That time I was in BC, whatever. Let's look how we do IOTA. See, we went now, boom, boom. Oh, we got this side chain ready to give you a nice print. And then meanwhile, those guys have been collecting and collecting and collecting IOTAs, seats. And then one day, when is it? Boom. And with that, man went along. And because we're busy, maybe because we tried to do too many things in Sentano, maybe because we're simple stupid. But the idea of this video is so you don't make the mistake I made. So, if you did generate your keys online through the website or any other website, you need to get those keys right now. I mean, I'm sorry, you gotta need to get those IOTAs out of the wallet. Uh, recommendation is that maybe you want to back in, in your exchange if you can, because the question is, what is most safe now? Or the exchange or the wallet? People say you want to take out of the exchange because exchange also is a problem. But if you know the exchange and you feel safe, maybe you want to live in the other live in exchange. Because this wallet is not perfect either. There's also time to give a problem to connect. It's a kind of pen and a bot. I think this still maybe is not even a full release version. I don't know. But whatever it is, it's not perfect. But anyway, maybe you do feel like collecting those IOTA offline. So this video, I'm going to show you how to do it. It's pretty simple. I'm going to show you uh, the Mac version. I don't have a Mac, but we're going to open the text. I have a Raspberry Pi, so we're going to run the prompt, we're going to run the terminal screen, and we're going to show you how to do it. So if you have a Mac, and if you run a Linux, Ubuntu, any version, then it's easy, simple. I think you guys will know already how to do that. But the problem is, and the side doesn't give you much with the rest 80% 80 80 of the computer being run by Windows. So a lot of people don't know. A lot of people don't know, and I guess maybe the instructions are not clear, or maybe they are clear, but there is not a video behind to do it. This is the way you need to do it. Okay. And I know I'm maybe talking too much to you, but I want to be clear with this. My next clear thing is right now, my IOTAs are in hell, so I have none, zero. Now, you have plenty of IOTAs, so it means you have the power of the IOTA. So either me, a box, or Dario, that's me, will not be responsible. Instead, you send the URLs to the moon, you send it to somewhere else. Okay, then we get that clear. Now, let me show you. I can, I'm going to put the links anyway, but you're going to double check these links too. And we can actually go straight to that, but not. I'm going to go straight to IOTA, and we're going to follow the instruction for now, IOTA. So that way, in case anything goes wrong, we say, hey, we follow your instructions. We follow what you tell me what to do. And that's what we're doing right now. All right, guys, so we are in IOTA, that's IOTA.org. Now, to get the installation, we're going to go all the way to the bottom. It's a little slow, this thing. And the graphics, let's go all the way down. Keep going, takes a while to load. All the way down, and all the way down, get started. Get started, download the GUI interface or your wallet. Now here, we go installation. Installation says you need to download the client that requires Java. And you need some score, source code, we need to get something from the GitHub anyway. Installation from Windows. Pretty simple, guys. We're going to do that anyway. We're going to be download it. If you see, you install it, you run it. Guy from uh, Mac, or oh, yes. I think I have to tell you that, but you guys know how to install it. Pretty simple in Linux, Ubuntu, whatever you're running. 
So the package, install it, and pretty simple. Question is, line note, full note, run line note. You don't need to let the big guys run full note. You just want to run a wallet, get the pass it, and that's it. You don't want to be running something else here. So we're going to run the light mode. All right. So let's go to installation. We're going to click Windows first. And you see here, we're going to get to the to the repo. So just follow the instructions. This is the latest version. So today, the, when I made this video, if you see this video a month from now, maybe it's a new version, I will think it'll be practically the same. So you're going to go and download your version. So mine is Windows. Remember, this only runs in Windows 64-bit. So if you have Windows 10, 32, when it announced, it's not going to run. So it needs 64 to run this wallet. And if you run uh, Mac OS, or oh, whatever it is, it's right over here. And all the links, if I press any of those links, send you to the same GitHub. I already download my uh, my wallet. Gonna execute it again so we get clear on the installation. It's pretty simple. We don't do Windows. Practically, the, the rest will be the same. And we end. And one thing we have to do. All right, guys, you see? Already load up. That's simple. Now, remember, you want to run this in line note. If when you start in the beginning, ask you line note or full note, you're going to choose line note. That's because I already reinstalled it many times, automatic defaults into the light mode. So you're going to run the light mode wallet. Now, let's generate the key. Now, we're going to follow instructions and we're going to go all the way down and we see here CQ key generator. Now, here, give you an example. We can run the Linux version, all right? And for me, it's pretty simple. We can run a command line from my Raspberry Pi. Already there anyway. Here's my Raspberry Pi. We're going to copy this line. Now, they're always saying you're supposed to run this offline. Now, I'm not sure if the, this command is required you to do offline. I'm not aware of that. Or in case, please disconnect the internet. Take the motor now. I don't know. It's going to put the, your computer in airplane mode. Whatever the case, because I'm not sure for this. If you guys any, know anything else, you can leave a comment there. So now, we're going to go here. We're going to type the command. That's the key. That's it. 81 characters including the number 9. So we're going to copy now. Up to this point, I'm offline. But now, to load, to load the C into it, we need to reconnect. So you're going to reconnect your computer. Now the question is, what do I do with this now? I will print two versions. One version will leave at home. The second version you're going to leave somewhere else. And your job, a friend, a family, somewhere safe. And if you want, you can create a text file and copy an external USB drive. Any Anything that is not connected to your computer, only connect it when you do the transfer, and then you disconnect it and you save it. Because if you save this in your computer in a text format or anything else, and your computer get hacked, okay, so why was so much secure? If you keep this in a format text file, anybody can hack it. I don't care if you call it something else. You need to remove it out of your computer. So after that, we're going to get back into IOTA. We're going to click the C. We're going to paste it, and we're going to try to log in. Now, sometimes, see, this is fast. Sometimes it will give you a promise to log in, and you have to change the configuration. Now, most of the people, if you see around, they tell you to connect with Big Phoenix port 80, but that gives a lot of problems. Lately, the DOS attack, but this one gives a lot of problems. So I'm using other ones. You can find other ones will work perfect. Some will not allow you to connect. Now be aware. Be aware. Sometimes if you're not connected to the right note or something goes wrong with the note, you're going to see balance zero even if you have some. Okay, so do not get scared. The problem is, is when you go in your history. And how do you know what you hack? Because when you go your history, you're going to see a lot of transactions done where you never did. But if you see balance zero here and not in the history, most like it, you either put the wrong C or either you're not connected to the right network. Now, to receive, make sure that this it do, it do not require you to attach to the jungle, but anyway, you should do it. So attach, to the, attach first and then send your balance or send whatever you need to send. It's not a require, but I will say 
because that you confirm your address. That's me. Now I want to receive the money. So you coins. So it's done. Now for the end case, let me go back now for people on the Mac. You guys, I'm sure know. You're gonna type this in your prompt and you execute again. Disconnect your computer. Get your key and do the same thing. Now, now for the rest, Windows. And we finally here, it gives us an example how to generate in, in a key. So we click here, it sends us to a GitHub. It's all been done. See all the links are done from Iora. We're going to download this zip. You're going to come here. And you're going to download the whole entire file. It's pretty small. We're going to mess this. I'm going to log off from here. And I got it over here. You unzip it. And this is what you're going to see. You click again. And the only thing you have is these four files. Readme file, license, and uh, index HTML, and a JavaScript. Now, if I click here, that's why it needs to be offline. If you pay attention to the link here on the top, it's files, dot, forward slash, forward slash, C file, whatever you have. So it's running offline. But not yet, because your computer, even though it's a local version, you still connect the internet. So in case it's a conspiracy theory behind this, you're going to disconnect your computer. So now none information will be in case will be forward to somebody else. So you don't matter, you're going to disconnect your computer or I mean, your computer, you computer disconnect your network. You can put an airplane mode. You can disconnect your router, whatever you want to do. You are offline 100%. And now, you press right over there, and you're going to move your mouse and to hit, and that's it. That's your key. That's simple. Now, from here, we're going to copy. I will recommend now print this again. I'll print two copies. You can print it right from your browser. Copy this. Copy to external drive. Connect your internet now. Back again. And with this, we'll go back to Yoda. We blow a lot of address this way. Go back to Yoda. We're gonna log off. I'm off. We put right there. Log in. And then, now my question is, it's not simple, right? If you guys saw this, you said that was simple, David. That was real simple to do. Why do we have so much problem? Why they stole four million dollars worth worth of Yoda to people? Because I guess you see that. I'll only show you a Mac example. Uh, Linux, the rest people don't know what to do. Some people they don't know you go to GitHub and you need to download it. So maybe it, was, it needs a video or something to explain. So now, even for me, when I see it now, I say, How did I can, what was possible that when it generated in an online version? Because I was in a rush, I was not thinking clear. So slow down for a minute and anything you play with crypto and see how simple it is to do it now. And maybe, again, we need to teach people. We need to move the information. It, I think the problem is missing information. It's missing tell you way to do it right. So I hope this video will teach you the way to do it right. And if you believe that help you, then show this video to all the people. They know how to generate the, how to, uh, generate the IOTA wallet. And please, if you did it online, and you don't want to follow my instruction, that's fine. But you should move all your balance back to your to your exchange and to any further notice or until your day you want to feel do something else with that. If you find this video useful, if this is what you're looking for and you want to help me a little bit and help me to get my balance back again since it's zero, I'm going to put my uh, your address right below the video and you guys can send me a tip. I will really appreciate it. That way it will help me to create these videos for you guys. Thank you very much. If anything else, you can leave a comment right in the video. Bye.